Hello everyone, it's Allie from Titan and welcome back to our channel. I am here with a personal break of one box of the 2020 Tops Star Wars Chrome Perspectives Resistance versus the First Order for Bill S. from California. Jeez, that was a mouthful, but you know what? This product has a really long title and I just felt the need to say all of it. Even though if I say Chrome Perspectives, you guys would know what I'm talking about. But this, uh, it is cool. It's a cool product. Half the cards are from their perspective. See, Chrome Perspectives of the Resistance, and then ha the other half is the same people, same characters in the set, so it's 50 and 50, are from the perspective of the First Order. So, of course, like, the Resistance Ray is all like, oh, Ray's awesome, and then it's like, from the First Order, it's like, that cursed Jedi crazy lady. Not really, but in essence, that's what this set's about. So it is cool, it has gorgeous Chrome cards. Now, you do get one autograph guaranteed per box, and there are supposed to be two sketches per case. We have not seen any sketches yet from this case, so hopefully we'll get one here for Bill S. today. And this is exciting, because I love opening up Star Wars. I am searching for a couple Super Fractors myself. It'd be wonderful to see one out of, like, six, five or six cases. I, I can't really quite remember. Should be six, because we opened four for us. We were supposed to only open three. We ended up opening four for singles. And then we went through one case, and we're on yeah. So this is case number six now that we're going through. We have not seen a Super Fractor. So we would, it would be wonderful if we could get one here, or even in some of the remaining boxes. We are almost actually out. There's, I think, eight boxes left. But Also, before we get started, I want to give you guys an update uh, of what's coming in the next two weeks. Um, if you watched the Donruss Optic Choice for the Agile Collector earlier today, uh, you also saw me talk about this list, but these are the two upcoming Wednesdays and Fridays, not including this week. Tomorrow, we have a live stream of, here, I'll just put this up close so you guys can see what's coming out on our schedule. The only one that we will not have personal breaks available of will be the Panini Select U uh, UEFA Euro Soccer, because we ordered 60 boxes, got cut to just one, so we're just going to open it open that one up on the channel. Everything else we will have personal breaks available for. We already have pre-orders up for Zendikar as well as the this week's releases. Instead of having new products released on Wednesday this week because Monday was Labor Day, it was a holiday, the uh, the mail was not going. Uh, so since products couldn't ship on Monday, Upper Deck pushed back their Wednesday releases to tomorrow. So tomorrow we are opening a whole case of 2020 Upper Deck Marvel Masterpieces that should be live. I'll be putting like a um, reminder stream like a little notification for you guys after all of today's videos are uploaded we will have three today two personal breaks and some packages i'll be putting that up so make sure to click on that and have uh, there's a button there you can press that says set reminders that way youtube can go ding 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 uh i think 15 minutes before the stream starts and then opichi hockey also comes out tomorrow but i'll be doing a product preview of that on friday along with mosaic football just because we do have that whole live case opening tomorrow don't want to have too much to distract people with and then there was that whole sheet, as you saw, has more hockey, more baseball, football, basketball, a little tiny bit of soccer, which unfortunately we couldn't get too much of. But at least I guess we have to be happy with our one box, because I'm sure lots of people just didn't get any. But anyways, sorry for the distraction, Bill. Well, let's get into your box by snapping ourselves into the corner. And come on, let's see a sketch. And if there's no sketch, I'll settle for a super fractor. Like, you know, you can't complain, you get a super. Here we go. Let's pop open Snoke's head, just like in the movie. <laughs> Alright, here we go, pack number one. Let's see some shiny Star Wars. We have Sith Troopers, First Order insert, and a base refractor of Admiral Statura. First Order TIE Fighters, and General Leia, Base Refractor. This is a really cool looking Kylo Ren card. I was considering to rainbow that one, but I figured uh, it'd probably be more expensive than I'm willing to go for. We have an AT M6 Walker, and Vic Rule Refractor. I ended up going for just rainbowing the two Dio cards and one of the Rose cards. Is it actually the Rose matches a sketch that I have by Carlos Caballero very well. And I adore the way that looks. And the card, like I said, looks very similar to it. So I figured, eh, I may as well just go for it. We have Confrontation and Escape. And Officer Kendia. This is also a very pretty card. 
Like, Officer Candia didn't really do much. But that's, like, a really nice picture. Like, I'm actually very impressed with this set on how nice some of these pictures are of, like, random First Order Officer. For in, in the, uh, I feel like a lot of the Resistance perspective ones of the First Order people are kind of, like, generic stock photos. But the from the perspective of the First Order, where it's like, oh, Officer Candia worked her way up and, you know, blah, blah, blah. You know, very well known, blah, blah. You know, I, I think that actually looks like a gorgeous picture. Also, the Colonel Datu picture from the perspective of the First Order is also, like, really cool. I feel like these are images I haven't seen before, which is, like, something I'm wanting from Star Wars products. I feel like, like, yes, pictures are nice, but sometimes, like, can you stop recycling pictures on cards? Please, tops, can you do that? That'd be nice if you could stop doing that. Like, this Holdo picture is, like, every single Holdo card that ever existed looks like this. Although the, the second Holdo card from the set, I'm very impressed with that as a gorgeous card. If we see one, I'll point it out to you guys, but we have Invasion of Takodana insert and a Prism First Order Snowtrooper. That's a Prism Refractor with a, an S, like like the actual word Prism, not like Panini Prism. Number 71 out of 299. See, there's the other picture of Candia too. Like, they're just really cool pictures. Kendia has both cards are pretty nice. The Through the Force on Kajimi and Captain Phasma base refractor. Was this actually the first order card or was it the resistance card? This one was the first order card. Yeah, I, I, I was just thinking, I was like, wait a minute, was I talking about the wrong card? But no, that is the right card. See, there she is again. First order leadership. And Legion General Pride. Not this Colonel Datu, the other one. Which I feel like they don't even look that similar. I was actually surprised they were both Colonel Datu. We have Kylo Ren's lightsaber and Captain Kennedy. The First Order pursues the Resistance fleet, and then this is actually that Admiral Holdo card I was mentioning. Like, this is a really nice picture, and I appreciate that they used a different photo than the generic photo of Admiral Holdo. So th this is a really nice card. This is a blue refractor, by the way. That's number 81 out of 150. Dio, ATM-6, first order insert, the other Officer Kenya base refractor, Oop, and we have an auto here, this is a blue refractor autograph, this card, this Conics card is very nice as well, of Ian White as Bali Prindell, that is number 98 out of 150. I feel like we've seen a lot of Ian White autos these past couple boxes, but hey, this is a different refractor. This one is, like I said, blue refractor numbered out of 150. Bali Prindell. Grab a 55 point top loader. I was mentioning it in the Downrus Optic Choice video again. Sorry if I'm repeating myself if you did watch both videos today. But Topps Chrome cards fit. Uh, refractors fit in 55 point top loaders, but Panini Prism cards will fit in 35 points. It doesn't make sense. I don't understand why, but they do. They both fit in different sizes. You have the Battle of Crate and Vic Roll Refractor. Hey, look, we have a blue Kylo Ren here. See this Colonel Datu, the other photo. I feel like it doesn't look like the same dude as the other picture, but it's a cool looking picture. Of course, on the, I, I, you guys are probably like, what is that? That is the card camera. Uh, base chrome cards uh, really do reflect that camera pretty well. We have Babu Frick. Both Babu Frick cards are pretty cute. The Force Duel and the Blue Refractor, Kylo Ren. Number 50 out of 150.
There's the other Babu Frick, very cute. Interrogation, first order insert. And Conics, base refractor. This is the rose that I'm attempting to rainbow. Still need the red and the super refractor. That is a gorgeous picture, in my opinion. Starkiller base and Chewbacca. First Order Army and Admiral Dacey. Ooh, nice. We have an orange. Ray and Kylo Ren confront Supreme Leader Snoke. And a very pretty orange Jenna refractor with a little piece of pack dust. Let me clear that off. There we go. Jetta, orange. It's number four of 25. Love seeing low numbered. It goes super fractor, then the reds are out of five. That's a 35 point. That's not a 55 point. And then 25 is the third lowest parallel. There's no tens. There's no 10, 10 out of tens in here. Chrome Legacy did have the black parallels out of 10, and then orange out of 25, but there's there's no out of 10 parallels here. This goes from five to orange, red to orange. Ray meets Finn. And a major Von Reg Prism Refractor. 138 out of 299. And the last pack for Bill. Let's see if we can get a sketch. Can we get some last pack magic, please? And thank you. Unfortunately, it does not look like it, but let's see what we have. We have Ray Travels to Octo. This card would be 10,000 times better if it had Porgs on it. Unfortunately, there are no Porgs on this card. Then, Rose Tico Refractor. So refractors out of this set are just gorgeous. And that will do it for this box. Let me move this out of the way. We can do a quick recap. Unfortunately, not the strongest autograph, but we did see several gorgeous cards and refractors. Well, the more most gorgeous cards out of this box were all refractors. Let's take a look at our hits. We did get the blue refractor auto, Ian White, as Bali Prindell, number 98 out of 150. And we also got very nice orange refractor of Jenna. That was number four of 25. Then we also got two prism refractors, first order snowtrooper and major von Reg from the animated show Resistance. Those are both out of 299. And we also had two blue refractors, Vice Admiral Holdo and Kylo Ren. This is number 81 out of 150 and number 50 out of 150. Sorry, there was someone being loud outside and I was like, oh no, you guys are going to hear that. And then I remembered the new mic doesn't pick up background noises like that, so that's cool. Unless you guys did hear it. I don't know, it sounded like there was a small child yelling outside. Not like, nothing to be concerned about yelling, just loud right by the door. But that will do it for this box. Thank you so much everyone for watching me. Uh, talk too much today. I hope you all enjoyed it. I don't know. I just felt very talkative today. I, I think we had fun taking a tour through Chrome Perspectives, Refractors, and Pretty Base Cards, and all different kinds of stuff. So that is it for me on box openings today. Thank you so much, Bill, for letting me open it up for you. I hope you enjoyed the opening and that I was able to add some nice, beautiful Chrome cards to your per uh, collection. I almost said to your perspectives, but Chrome cards to your collection. And to all of you out there watching as well, I hope you enjoyed this opening. Still on the hunt for sketch cards and super fractors. Uh, like I said, I think there are just eight boxes remaining. So there is there is one coming up uh, this weekend for our live breaks. There's a box of Chrome Perspectives there. And we also have a lot of Marvel Masterpieces coming up this weekend. Not only do I have our live case break uh, tomorrow, that is not for anyone in particular. That is for the shop. We'll be selling all those singles. So if you're interested in checking that out, that is tomorrow morning. And then we also have a lot of personal breaks of Marvel Masterpieces coming this weekend as well. So if you're interested in more Marvel, we got a lot. Not as much as we'd like, but um, we did, uh, I thought initially that we had ordered 10 cases and got cut to one and a half, but my case count was just off because actually Boss Man had ordered 15 cases, um, but it was 160 boxes and we got like 27. So we got like a little over two cases out of ordering 15. So that was, that was a, a, a big cut disappointment. 
But you know what? We just got to make do with what we have. So we'll have that opening tomorrow. Hopefully that'll be fun. Hopefully you'll join us as well. I know a lot of Star Wars uh, collectors also tend to collect other non-sports products. So hopefully Marvel is something you're interested in. There is one sketch card guaranteed per box. So you want to see a lot of sketch cards, <laughs> even though Chrome Perspectives hasn't yielded one for us in a while. Make sure to come check out that Marvel Masterpieces. But like I said, that is it for me on box openings today. I do have a package to open up next. A couple packages, actually. And that will be it for the day. Pretty light day video-wise. I hope you all are enjoying my uh, yap, 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 yap content today. And I hope to catch you all in the next video. So thank you so much for watching, everyone. Take care, stay safe, and I'll see you all later. Bye!